When Josh Reeder learned about a 12-year-old boy who wanted a guitar for Christmas but couldn't afford one, he decided to deliver a Christmas surprise. Would you typically respond to that? You know, I, I, I don't normally, and that's a weird thing. But because I was doing this, um, this challenge, it really spoke to me this time. That challenge came from a couple of men in Dallas he's never even met. Typically, each year, two anonymous businessmen and the Better Friends Foundation throw a huge Christmas party for anyone down on their luck. But a party just isn't possible during a pandemic. Knowing that a lot of people needed help this Christmas, the two men sat down for lunch at this restaurant. You know, within 10 minutes of leaving that lunch, we were in Walmart for three hours, paying a bunch of layaways off, and it was awesome. They spent about $10,000 paying off bills for total strangers, and that was just the beginning. What if we did it every day for the next 12 days and we nominated 12 people to do the same? Their project, which they call 12 Samaritans, has inspired acts of kindness all over the country. This family paid for another customer's coffee. These folks collected pajamas for seniors, and this woman in Maryland shoveled snow from her neighbor's driveway. And that chain reaction eventually made its way to Josh Reeder. Because of him, an organization called Rock Me will deliver a guitar just in time for a little boy's Christmas. It, it's all in the power of us to, to give and, and to help out our fellow man, but sometimes we just need to, to get that little extra spark. There's no telling what we can do in the last few weeks of 2020 uh, to really leave, a, leave an impact on people's lives. Many people have wondered, how can we celebrate this holiday when so much has been taken? Clearly, the answer, just give. In Dallas, I'm Sean Giggy.